Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to unsupervise any iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. So let me just show you, if I go into settings you can see at the very top I have this message, this iPhone is supervised and managed by, and then the company name. So keep in mind, after you unsupervise your device, any you know, restrictions you added in supervised mode will be removed. So for example, I've added you know custom uh, lock screen text here, which says Saunders Tech, this will be removed, any other profile you have downloaded will also be removed as well, however you will not lose any of the data which is stored on your iPhone, iPad or iPod. So let's say you have, you know, any apps installed, any games installed, those will all be uh, safe. You know, phone numbers, photos, you're not going to lose your data, just keep that in mind. Now, in order to unsupervise your device, you're going to need access to either a Windows or Mac computer. Now, if you're running a Windows or Mac computer, uh, there is going to be a separate method for each. So check the times that sound below. I'm going to start off with the Windows method of unsupervising uh, your device and so if you just want to use windows keep on watching if you have a mac computer use the timestamp in the description to skip to the mac part of this tutorial so with that being said let's get right into it on your windows computer you just want to head over to supervise.me there will be a link in the description and once you're here you just want to click on it get started and you should be brought to this page so once you're here what we're going to do is we see i backup bot we're just going to uh, click on this one and we just want to download iBackup Bot onto our device. So don't uh, hover over the download, instead scroll down until you see iBackup Bot for Windows. And you see here, click here to download now, just click on this one and then iBackup Bot should start downloading. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go back and we see here iTunes Windows slash Mac. So here's the thing you may have iTunes already on your device, however, this version may be from the Microsoft Store. So, what you're going to do, you just want to click on the Windows button. Uh, to be redirected to the iTunes page. And once you're here, you see this, get it from Microsoft. We do not want to download the Microsoft Store version of iTunes. If you already have iTunes on your device and you're not sure which one you have, I recommend that you just delete the version of iTunes you have, then go back to this website, scroll down, you see you're looking for other versions, click on Windows, and you see a download iTunes for Windows Now 64-bit. This is a different version, and this version works uh, with iBackup Bot. So we're just going to click on this one, and then iTunes should start downloading. Once iTunes starts downloading, you just want to go back to this page here, and you see the unsupervised backup. You're going to click into this one, and what you're going to see is the uh, unsupervised backup will start downloading. You will also be redirected to an advertisement. If you'd like to help supervise.me, you just click around the ads because that will really help out. Otherwise, you can just you know, close out with the ads if you would like to. Once everything is downloaded, I want you to open up the File Explorer. And then once the File Explorer is opened, you want to navigate to Downloads and you just want to find the No Supervised Zip file. So you're going to double click into this one and then you should be brought to this page where you see Remove Supervision. So once you're here, you're going to see at the top Extract All. Just click on Extract All and then click on Extract. So now the unsupervised backup is going to extract to your Downloads folder. We will need this later. Once the extraction is completed, you should see the Remove Supervision folder and then the unsupervised and you should see all these files. That means we are good to go. The next step is you just want to open up the iBackup Bot application and you want to also plug in your device to the computer. So when iBackup Bot first loads up, you may see a bunch of errors like stuff like this. Just click on No to every error you see. And then once every error has been dismissed, just plug your device into the computer. Now on the device itself, make sure it's unlocked and it's on the home screen because you may need to uh, uh, tap on a trust message, which you see on your device, tap on it, enter in your passcode, and then your iPhone should be recognized. If you get an error which says, you know, error uh, minus 19 cannot connect to the device, tap on the trust, then click on yes to retry, and then you should see your iPhone show up. So you can see the iOS firmware, all that good stuff. This is the same iPhone XR as you saw earlier. So the next step is we're going to click on open the backup and we're going to click on downloads. We're going to see our no supervised folder. Click into this one, click into remove supervision and then unsupervised. Once you see no items match your search, just click on select folder. And then we should see here the remove supervision backup is available. So we're going to click on the plus by it. Then we're going to click on system files and you see a search. We're going to search it for config. So you need to spell it right. So config and you should see configuration profiles. So you're going to click into this one, right click, restore selected items to device. And before we proceed with the next step, you need to go onto your device and you need to turn off find my iPhone. 
Now, if you don't know how to do that, you can always look it up. And if you still can't figure that out, just sign out of your iCloud account entirely. Once we restore the backup onto our device, you can turn back on Find My iPhone. You can turn back on the iCloud account if you are signed out. The reason why is because Apple blocks you from restoring backups when you have the Find My iPhone on. And so if you're still getting issues, just sign out of iCloud and then that'll solve the issue. So we just need to enter in uh, the passcode. The passcode is 1111. So one 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 just four ones and you just click on okay and you just give it a little bit you can see restore select the device from computer and it should retake a couple of seconds and you can see restore completed once you see restore completed you've now successfully unsupervised there are a couple more steps you need to take on the device itself however you do not need the computer anymore if you get any errors it doesn't matter from here as long as you still restore completed you're good to go the iphone will show the apple logo and i'm going to show you the final steps on the device itself on your mac you just want to head over to supervise.me there will be a link in the description once you're here you're going to click on get started and you should be brought to this page so this page if you're wondering if you just want to go there dir uh, directly is go.supervise.me once you're here you're going to see the downloads you're going to right click on iBackupBot open a new tab and you should be brought to this page you're going to scroll down and you see i backup bot for mac you're just going to click on uh, the download click this one and i backup bot should download then we're going to go back and the next step is you see itunes this download is optional depending on which firmware of mac os you are on so in order to check your firmware what you're going to do is you're going to see the apple logo at the top left you're going to click into this one you see here about this mac select about this mac and then you see your mac os version and a version uh, number we want to look at the version number here because if you're running mac os version 10.15 or later you need to download the itunes from this website i'll walk it through if you're running mac os version 10.14 and older guess what you do not need to use this on-site uh, itunes backup instead i will have a timestamp down below for where you need to skip so what we're going to do is if we do need uh, to download the itunes wait, uh, which i need to do we're just going to click on the mac right here and the reason why we're using this retroactive 1.9 is because Apple discontinued iTunes with macOS Catalina and later. So we're using this tool to re-download iTunes. The reason why we need this is because iTunes uh, allows us to use iBackupBot. So we you know, kind of need iTunes. So in order to get it, we're just going to click to download for retroactive. And you can see the download is going to start right here. Once the download is finished, you just want to open up the finder. You're going to navigate to downloads and you should see at the very top your retroactive. If you don't see it, just search it up right here or you see this one here. They added, just click this until you see the latest date today. And then that means you have the latest downloads at the top. So we're going to double click in this dot zip and that's going to extract it. Now we see here the retroactive 1.9. We're going to double click into this one and you see here retroactive right click to open. So let's do this. Let's right click open. And we should see this retroactive uh, cannot be open. Just click on cancel, but do, do this one more time. So right click, open again. And the second time you do this, you'll have the option to open up the application. Once you're here, if you're running the newer uh, versions of macOS, you will have this message. Just click on run anyways. And then you're going to see here iTunes. Click on the install here and it will ask for your most important feature. Just click on continue. And for me, it doesn't ask me, but for you, it will ask you to enter in your passcode, then iTunes will download. The reason why it's not showing this for me is because I already have done this process. So for you, enter in your passcode as many times as it requires. Uh, this uh, this tool is open source, so if you're thinking it's going to do something dodgy, you can always check the source code and everything is completely safe. And then iTunes will download. And once it downloads, you're going to see this page. One more thing, enable full disk asset, uh, access so you can use uh, your iPod Touch. Now, here's the thing. Because we don't actually use iTunes, an iBackup bot is able to recognize our iPod Touch anyways. You do not even need to do this. So just click on I don't need to sync with iPod Touch, even if you do. And you can see you've already unlocked iTunes. And what we're going to do is we're going to close out of this. So we need to find that iBackup bot download earlier. So you can see iBackup bot dash setup dot DMG. We're going to double click into this one. Give it a little bit. We see iBackup bot applications. We're going to drag and drop. Uh, for me it's going to ask to replace because i've done this before and then we'll uh, double click on applications and we just want to find our backup bot and you see right here there it is we're going to right click and we're going to click on open and we'll click on open one more time and you should be able to see boom just like that i backup bot should load up so here's the deal right 
Um, first of all, I back a box is really buggy and it just crashes a lot. So if you're following one of my steps and then I back a box crashes, what you need to do is load up I back a box again, then repeat the same steps. So the next step is you just want to head over back to go.supervise.me and we need to download the unsupervised backup. So just click into this one and then the download should start. Now you will also be redirected to an advertisement. If you would like to help support supervised.me, just click around on the advertisement. Uh, you know, if you just want to, you know, get your device unsupervised, just close out of the ad. I really don't mind. Now, once we have that unsupervised backup downloaded, we're going to open up the Finder application. We're going to click into Downloads and we're going to see no supervised.zip. Now, if you don't see this, you just want to filter by date added and make sure that, you know, the latest downloads are showing up at the very top. So we'll just double click into this one to extract it. And now we have this remove supervision folder. We're going to need it in just a bit. So let's go back into iBackupBot. And what we need to do is we need to connect our device to the computer. And you can now see my iPhone XR is successfully recognized. So one important thing to keep in mind is if you connected your device to the computer and you're not seeing it, you just want to unlock uh, your iPhone, iPad, whatever, go to the home screen. You may see a trust message. Just tap on trust, enter in your passcode. You may see an error inside of iBackup bot. Once you tap on trust, uh, tap on the yes message and your iPhone should show up. So what we're going to do next is we're going to click, uh, click on the plus and we need to find the unsupervised backup. So we do this by clicking on downloads, just find that remove supervision folder, unsupervised, and once you see what these files here, that's uh, the folder you need to be in, just click on open. We're gonna see remove supervision, and the next step is we're gonna click on the arrow here, then we're gonna click on system files, then we're gonna search for config, and then once we searched up for config, we see configuration profiles, right click, Restore selected items to device and the next step is on your device itself before we proceed you need to go into settings and you need to turn off find my iPhone or find my iPad find my iPod touch now once we've done uh, the restore you can turn this back on so do not worry about that however uh, if you cannot find the find my uh, you will just need to sign out of iCloud entirely and if you don't want to sign out of iCloud entirely just look up you know how to you can turn the find my iPhone I back up what just crashed, but just continuing, the reason why you need to turn off on my iPhone or sign out of iCloud is because Apple will block you from restoring backups unless you turn that off. So what we're going to do is we're going to reload iBackupBot and I'm just going to go back to where I left off. iBackupBot on a Mac is really glitchy. That's just something to just keep in mind. So if you, keep, if you get the crashes, just repeat and see things work. All right, so I'm back to where I left off. So the passcode is 1111. So, you know, just one, 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 one on the keyboard. Then just click on OK. And now the backup should restore. So if you get that error, that's because of iCloud. So just, you know, turn it off. You can see message restore completed. And on the device itself, uh, you're going to see it's going to reboot and the backup will restore. You do not need iBackup bot anymore. You do not need the computer anymore. So you can just unplug your device from the computer. And once the restart is finished, there's a couple of things you need to do on the device. It's not really like that much. You can probably figure out yourself. But for the sake of, you know, you know, knowing what you need to do, I recommend you keep on watching and I'll show you the next steps. All right, so you can see we're now back onto the setup screen. So all you need to do is just set up your device back to the home screen. There is one uh, important area which you need to see. So I'm just going to cut to that one. This part right here. So you need to make sure you tap on don't transfer apps and data. Now on the new versions of iOS 15, it changes around slightly. There'll be a bottom toggle, just tap on that one. And then you'll have the don't transfer apps and data option. If you restore from iCloud backup, if you restore from anywhere else, well then the supervision mode is gonna turn back on. Also, you may lose your data. Just tap on don't transfer apps and data. Every other option you see, you can set up however you would like until you are brought back to the home screen. So I'm just gonna go back to the home screen now. There we go. Welcome to iPhone. Slide up to get started. And let's take a look at this real quick. So if I go to settings, first of all, there is no more supervision mode on my device. Remember how that custom lock screen text, that uh, custom lock screen text has also been removed. So we have successfully unsupervised our device. I just keep in mind, if you did turn off uh, automatic updates, they will be turned back on after doing this process. So if you, you know, don't want your device to automatically update, I recommend you turn that off. And so with that being said, thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys later. Bye bye.